being not the students of biology it is quite possible that most of you remain confused better to say confident that semen and sperm both are or you can say the both terms are same and in fact they both carrying the same meaning you also think so then you are 100 percent wrong my dear i'm so sorry about that but wait 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 let me start the session first so guys once again welcome back to this amazing session and today in this video i will resolve your confusion if you are confused or will break your confidence if you are confident that semen and sperm are same so let's check it out first their meaning and then how they are different from each other so first of all we will talk about the semen then after we will see the sperms after that so semen is a seminal fluid it is an organic fluid which contains a spermatozoa now many of you think that what is a spermatozoa right so fine let me show you some pictures first here you can see that okay let me describe that a spermatozoa or singularly it is known as a spermatozoon is a motile sperm cell and moving form of the haploid cell which is also known as the male gamete semen is secreted by the sexual glands known as gonads along with the spermatozoa in male seminal fluid contains several elements which creates favorable condition for sperms to survive for a longer period of time exactly that is very important and for example enzymes like proteolytic one and fructose etc are the main elements of the seminal fluid its major duty is to provide a medium through which a sperm can move or swim you can say produced in seminal vesicle the process of discharge of semen is known as ejaculation well on the other hand sperm the sperm is the male gamete which is also known as a reproductive cell the motile nature of a sperm is only because of semen now you got the point that semen or seminal fluid carries a sperm and help to swim here and there during the process of ejaculation sperms passes through the ejaculatory ducts and mixes with fluids coming through the seminal vesicles the prostate and the bulbourethral glands which collectively form the semen so when we talk about the seminal vesicle so seminal vesicles produce a yellowish viscous fluid which is rich in fructose and other substances that make up about 70% of human semen next one is the prostatic secretion that is very important because it is influenced by the dihydrotestosterone which and it is a whitish or sometimes clear or you can say the transparent thin fluid containing proteolytic enzymes citric acid and phosphatase and lipids too after that the bulbourethral gland here you can see that structure bulbourethral gland secrete a clear secretion into the lumen of the urethra to lubricate it besides sertoli cells yes which is also known as nursing cells which nurture and support developing spermatocytes secrete a fluid into seminiferous tubules that helps transport sperms to the genital ducts while a sperm when we talk about the sperm it constitutes vitamin b12 vitamin c calcium ascorbic acid lactic acid fructose zinc magnesium potassium fat such a big list and many different proteins too but the quantity of these nutrients is very very minute one well in simple language you can say that semen is a fluid that creates favorable environment and helps the sperm to move or swim and the sperm is a male gamete or reproductive cell which is one of the constituents of semen so that's all about the important information about the semen and sperm we'll catch you soon in my next video till then just stay tuned with me bye bye